hello everyone and welcome to the channel in this video i am going to show you an easy way to install this villa on your local system and then do the inference with an image or with a video villa is a visual language model or vlm pre-trained with interleaved image text data at scale enabling video understanding and multi-image understanding capabilities Villa is deployable on the edge by various tools, but I have found out that those tools like Tiny Chat Engine and that sort of stuff, they don't work. So I would highly suggest if you're looking to deploy this Villa, deploy it on a system with a good GPU. Also, um, they have found out that unfreezing LLM during interleaved image text pre-training enables in-context learning which is quite crucial in this regard and that is how Villa unveils appealing capabilities including video reasoning, in-context learning, visual chain of thought and better world knowledge. It still has its some bugs and quits because these are very early days but anyhow let's see how we can install it. Before I show you the installation let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute for sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. This is my Ubuntu system where I am running Ubuntu 22.04 and this is my GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM. Let me clear the screen. First step, let's git clone the repo of this villa and I will drop the link to it in video's description. That is done. Now if I show you the content of this directory, you will see that there is a file called as environment underscore setup. So first step, let's make it executable. I'm just going to use a chmod command. That is done. Let's clear the screen and now let's run that environment dot underscore setup file. This is going to create a conda environment and then it is going to install a lot of prerequisites and it is going to take a bit of a time so let's wait for it to finish so it has created the environment and now it is installing all the packages with the conda and you can see that there is a lot of stuff so let's wait for it to get installed and even with my 48 GB RAM of GPU, it took around 10 minutes to get installed everything. So you would just have to be patient. Let me clear the screen. But the good thing is that there is all um, to it for the installation. So you just have to run one shell command and it is going to install everything for you. Next up, all we need to do is to run this command where we are running um, this Python script where we are just going into this run underscore villa file and then just give it this model path and then from there we have just give it any image you like and then ask the question that something uh, please describe the image or describe the traffic condition and so on and so forth so you see that i have as soon as i have run it it is going to download the model so let's wait for the model to get downloaded this will be the first time only and the size is quite big hopefully it will fit on my gpu anyway let's see there are four tensors and there you go so the model is downloaded and loaded onto my gpu this is the prompt which i gave it and then it has given me this answer now before we read through this answer this is the image which i have used you see there is a traffic jam there and by the way i created this image just through ai just shortly and it is saying the traffic conditions in the image is quite congested with a large number of cars and buses occupying the street. The street appears to be filled with traffic and the cars are closely packed together. This suggests that there might be a high volume of vehicles on the road, which could be due to various factors such as rush hour, a busy city center or an event nearby. How good is that? The congestion can lead to a slower travel time, increased fuel consumption and higher levels of air pollution. Amazing stuff. Now let's try out on an empty road maybe. For the empty road I am just going to use this image and I have changed the image here. Let me run this. 
let's wait for it it is not going to download the model again but it will just load it onto my gpu as you can see here it is just loading in to my gpu because every after every inference it just flushes it out and this is our image so let's wait for it and there you go it says the traffic condition in the image is light with only a few cars visible on the screen amazing stuff similarly you can also do the inference for the video and for that the command is very similar the only thing we have changed is the model so i'm just using that run underscore villa python file and this is a efficient large model with around 1.5 and then 3 billion parameter size and this is the video which is a local video on my system for video.mp4 and i'm just asking it to describe the video so let me run it Hopefully it will fit on my GPU and I will um, just wait for it and I will also show you the video shortly. Let's first wait for the model to get downloaded. This is good. It's not that big. There, there are only two tensors of 8 gig. So hopefully it should be good on my system. So if I meanwhile show you my video, let me run it. So this is a video which I just created for another one. Um, so it is just me talking and then just on a, a conference call just a very casual settings and then there is some stuff behind the scene okay so this is a video we are going to describe let's see where the model is okay so model is still being downloaded so let's wait for it to get finished and then we will see how it does the video inference shouldn't take too long and there you go you see how good is that it has downloaded the model and now this is a prompt what we said it is saying the video shows a man sitting in front of a computer desk with a microphone he is wearing a black jacket and and has long hair that is true the desk has a laptop a keyboard and a mouse the man appears to be speaking into the microphone possibly recording a podcast or giving a presentation the room has white walls and a window with blinds how good is that amazing amazing stuff very nice in the next example i just grab a, another video of one of my fan which was having an issue and i created a video to claim the warranty so let's see if it is able to de uh, detect the fan let me show you the video first so this is just a video of a fan uh, and i'm just trying to grab its uh, clicking noise so this is nothing else so let's see with the model i already have uploaded it let me clear the screen and then Maybe I'll just paste it if I could. Yes, so this is the one. Let's see. The model, is, it is going to load it onto the GPU. Let's wait for it. Loading the checkpoints on my GPU. That is done. So I'm just saying, please describe this video. And another thing which I really like about this is the way the speed look. The video shows a close-up of, close of a ceiling fan. With a white and black color scheme, the fan is spinning at a moderate speed, very nice, and the blades are in motion. The ceiling fan is attached to a white ceiling and there is a light fixture visible in the background. The video does not show any other objects or people. I am already very impressed by this model. Avila, really, really cool stuff. So that's it, guys. You see how easy it is to get it installed locally. And then you can use it for video understanding or image understanding sky is the limit here i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think about it if you like the content do me a favor and subscribe to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching